Driving around an all-black American neighborhood. Video number 17. Part 1 of 7. I broke down this video into 7 parts. If I did not, then this video would be over 2 hours long. The first part is me in an all-black American neighborhood setting up my camera. Many think that all black American neighborhoods are dangerous. They are not. However, every city has its bad parts. In the future I will make videos showing all black American neighborhoods that ranged from poor to rich. However, if you want to see what they look like now, then watch videos 1 to 15. In videos 1 to 15 I talk about the following topics. I talk about how black people in America was able to move into the middle class. How my family was able to move into the middle class skin color in the black community guns and school shootings in black american communities how trump got elected racism in america the first time i heard the n-word drugs in the black community racism in america regarding education and sports why america is rich and powerful is because we are all one people how black american men are raised single mothers and what black men want in a woman why american men look for women in other countries a woman's body count. The number of partners a woman has had and why it is important to men. Why living on a sailboat is one of the best ways to live, and the cost to live on a sailboat. A fun video about the first Tyrone. For my foreign viewers, Tyrone and Chad are a category of men people consider high value men. They are good looking, have a lot of money, and most women want. Plus I talk about how to answer the question of what do you bring to the table, or what do you have to offer. Many American women cannot answer this question, or do not know how to answer this question correctly. Next I drive past the medical center, and it is big. The buildings you see on the left are two eight stories parking lots. However, you only see parts of these parking lots. Plus, you see the back of one of one of their medical centers. You do not see the three hospitals, or the other medical centers. This medical center is eight stories, and the hospitals are bigger. I then drive around the neighborhood to the highway. The second video is me driving the highway into downtown. Currently, the United States is redoing all of our streets, roads, bridges, and our water system. So there is a lot of construction. Video number 3 is me driving in an area called River North. Because of the construction, they closed all of the entry points into downtown, so I had to drive past downtown and then back south into downtown. River North is a very nice area, but you have to walk it to see just how nice it is. So I will do a walking video on the River North area. Driving around River North does not show you how nice it is because the nice part is on the river. Video number 4 is me driving around downtown Chicago. Downtown Chicago is mostly office buildings, and since I am driving around on a Saturday afternoon is why you do not see a lot of people. The downtown Chicago area is built on one big giant bridge. I will show you what I mean. New York has Central Park, and Chicago has Millennium Park. Millennium Park was once called Grant Park. I do not know why they changed the name. Even Millennium Park is built on one big giant bridge, and it is part of downtown Chicago. All the people riding the blue bikes are rental bikes. They are all over Chicago. You can rent a bike by the hour, day, week, or month. You can get a bike at one location, ride it to another location and drop it off at that location. Chicago has made it very easy and convenient to rent a bike, and this is why you see a lot of people riding these bikes. Video number 5 is me driving around an area called Streeterville. Streeterville is mostly shopping, residential apartment buildings, nightclubs, and restaurants. Streeterville is a great place to hang out and have a good time. So I will make a video on Streeterville, Millennium Park, and many other sites in Chicago. Some of the places will be where tourists and some that live in Chicago never go. Do not give money to beggars because they probably make more money than you do. Chicago has a lot of professional beggars. Video number 6 is me driving around an area called the Gold Coast. It has a lot of high-end residential apartment buildings. It is one of the areas where many people that have money live. Video number 7 is me driving south down Lake Shore Drive. If you look at the lake, you will see a lot of boats. Hanging out on the lake is a lot of fun during the day or at night. I might make a video about the lakefront. However, the lakefront can have so many people that sometimes it is hard to find parking, even in the parking lots.
Click subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and share this video.